Reading from St John's Gospel, chapter 12, beginning to read at verse 3. Mary, therefore, took a pound of expensive ointment made from pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, he who was about to betray him, said, Why was this ointment not sold for three hundred denarii and given to the poor? Each day in Holy Week, we are reminded of the events that led up to Jesus' death by crucifixion. And here we are with Jesus, not amongst the whole host of his disciples or the crowds in the temple. Here we see him at an intimate dinner given by Mary and Martha. Here, Jesus, whom we know as Jesus Christ, as if Christ was Jesus' surname, but coming from the Greek interpretation of the Hebrew Messiah, meaning anointed, as Christos means anointed in Greek. And this, these verses tell of how Jesus the Messiah was anointed, not in a religious ritual, but by a woman. How shocking. A woman who anointed his feet with the most expensive of perfumes and then wiped it away with her hair. Yes, it was part of the culture for feet to be washed. In normal circumstances, it was the slaves that washed feet. But for the heads of households, for teachers, for the father, and even in smaller households, for the husband or eldest brother, then the women closest to them would wash their feet. But it wasn't done for a woman to wash the feet of someone who wasn't her father, her eldest brother. So what is going on? Because Judas does not say, why is Mary anointing your feet? He doesn't appear scandalized by the gesture, but scandalized by the cost. And so we have learnt not to be scandalized. And yet, let's think again. Jesus, the Christ, our Messiah, is anointed not in a religious ceremony, not in a grand occasion, but by one of his female disciples who sat at his feet and swallowed up his teaching and who then knowing perhaps in her heart what was about to happen, anointed his feet with her most precious ointment. Jesus, the Messiah, was anointed for the sacrificial death that was to come by a woman who cared for him as all his disciples did and who with them would go through the tumultuous week that we would about to remember, whose hearts would be broken, whose hopes would be dashed, and then whose world would be completely turned upside down. <laughs>